This is the show that respects your intelligence. We honor you as a citizen and we bring you the facts. Now the mainstream media has been telling you for two weeks now that there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud. They have said this despite the existence of, well, evidence. When hundreds of people signed sworn affidavits, some of them alleging widespread voter fraud, that is the literal definition of evidence, and we've talked about some of those stories before. Now, two men have been charged with 41 counts for allegedly submitting thousands of fraudulent voter registration applications on behalf of homeless people. And here to break it all down for us is Joe Weber with Just the News. Joe, thanks for joining us today. Eric, thanks for having me back. Nice to see you yeah, again. Yeah, you bet, man. So tell us, who's been charged and what have they been charged with? Two men, Carlos yeah. Montenegro and Raul Alvaro. So they were charged Monday by the Los Angeles County District Attorney. 41 counts of uh, voter fraud. 8,000 applications they attempted. This was a brazen scheme. Wow. And what they really tried to do was Mr. Montaguero, he was running for the mayor of Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. So let me break this down for you. The first thing he did is he falsified some documents. Now, of course, if you know if you're going to run as a mayor, you're going to run as a write-in. You need some people to submit some, map, um, some votes or some certifications saying, I'm running in for this guy, I'm running yeah. in for this guy. He forged them. The county clerk was wise to that. Tipped him, tipped him off. See, something wasn't quite right. Some mm -hmm. of the addresses didn't quite match up. So that's when... The district attorney's office lost its investigation, and the FBI is now involved, too. They found thousands and thousands of these um, applications and these voter applications uh, in a hotel. And what he had done um, with the help, Carlos, with the help of Mr. Alvaro, was uh, used three mailboxes that were dummied and his home address. He told his mom, according to local newspaper, uh, homeless people need to vote, too. Wow. And we're talking about eight thousand yeah. applications yeah. And these so 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 where, where, do, where do you these guys get eight thousand names of folks who they can who they can fraudulently claim well, are gonna we don't know yet and that's what's the most interesting part about it how do you get eight thousand names these are not only homeless people but these were dead people people who had allegedly moved mm. out of state we don't know somebody had to have access to an eight thousand number eight a voter roll of eight thousand uh, I think there's more here to this than, you know, that we know right now. Well, and Joe, as you've been digging into this, what, what, else, what else have you learned about the story? Uh, well, I mean, if you, I think that the larger issue here is that what we've seen with, I mean, once you start really digging in uh, to the voter rolls, November 3rd, around this election cycle, there may be really just a need for a national sort of standard for this. I mean, once you go poking around, uh, you're starting to find out all types of, you know, be it widespread or minor, but voter fraud nevertheless, and people trying to manipulate ballots and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and I understand there might be some connection here to, to gang activity. Is that is that right? Oh, yeah. That the um, What the prosecutor said yesterday during the arraignment, that uh, Mr. Montanero was backed by MS-13. They financed wow. him in an attempt to get somebody in as the mayor of Hawthorne. Wow, so MS-13 was involved in backing this effort to create 8,000 fraudulent voters in According to the prosecutors, California. yes. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. And, and Joe, uh, how did the prosecutors, you mentioned they, they first learned about this when there were some suspicions around some of the write-in yes. folks. Right, yeah. How does it get to a point, though, where somebody can actually fraudulently, fraudulently fill out 8,000 of these of these applications. Well, fortunately, they didn't get into the system. They mm. managed to catch the you know the uh, sharpness of the clerk. Evidently, allowed them uh, to flag this and catch it before they actually got into the system. I think um, just maybe uh, several hundred maybe maybe got into the system, but they flagged this before uh, they were all got uh, infiltrated into the system. That's where they found all of these in this hotel room. Wow. Motel wow. room, excuse me. Yeah, and Joe, what do we, what do we, and just in the few kind of 20 to 30 seconds that we have left, what's the next step in this, in this case likely to be? I would imagine, if, uh, from what I know, that the prosecutors are going to try to look at two things. How um, they got their hands on, you know, the names of 8,000, mm. or did they go out and talk to homeless people? I mean, you imagine, eight, you couldn't talk to 8,000 people, yeah. right? Yeah. You had to have think, access to rotor rolls. I think, Joe, we're going to have to, we're going to have to leave it there, but really, really important story. Thanks for following Thanks it for, uh, for all of us. Folks, again, that's Joe Weber at Just the News. You can see the story at justthenews.com, 8,000 applications, voter fraud.